Bye. All right, I believe we are live. This is good. So, uh, so in this video, I am going to be covering uh, keyboard layout. So, uh, keyboard layout or keyboard setup. So, I'm going to try to do this video all in one take. Like Takuya does it. Hopefully, everything goes smoothly. So, I'm going to have a keyboard camera as well going so you guys can see my hands so I demonstrate some things. I'm going to have a separate video that does uh that does what's it called gameplay so I'll do gameplay with my hands so you can see it as well. So without further ado do uh what I want to cover I want to talk about first before I show you my keyboard setup is that this was not something that was just built overnight. It didn't just happen you know I played all soccer for five years. This is not something you try to copy and just you know it will not work for you every part of my keyboard it took time piece by piece being made learning adjusting to it and so um here oh wrong thing here is my keyboard looks like so it's the same keyboard literally a picture you can see the wood grain in the background this is what my keyboard looks like and this is what all the heroes look like so i have uh so these of course right directional i use this to move it's a funny story uh basically when if i was just one more key down on my laptop, I have a picture of my laptop as well. On my laptop, if I was one more key down, if I used the default directional pads, I would not be able to press A and D at the same time. I could not move diagonal and some some key I had some key locking, so I had to shift it up one just by one and that worked. Just you know basic problem solving and from then it actually ended up helping me because I ended up doing a lot more. I'll come back to my laptop after. And now let's go over my current settings. So uh to make this easier, so we have, uh, actually I'm going to use Sniper, so I did this earlier. So it's for me to draw on. So to make this easier, uh, I'm going to draw on this a little bit. Here we have everything here is left hand. Everything here is right hand. So go figure. So uh, uh, there was a time when I used these up here as button heroes, but I stopped it because it was a little comfortable. So as you can see, uh, this is 8 right here. I can reach 8. While playing, I can reach eight, but I can't really reach nine and zero. I can still my, my pinky is still on eight to jump, but I can't reach these ones. So I stopped at eight and moved down to the other one. So I use, uh, of course, I have these over here. So I have number pad. I could reach everything here. My pinky for this right uh, for this and uh, my ring, my middle finger, ring finger is for Earthbreaker, whatever you want to call it. And then my thumb takes care of these ones. So from Iron Knight, Earth Mage, Musketeer, Mafia, all these. And then my middle finger takes care of this uh, Titan. And so pointer takes care of these ones. So yes, that's how my keyword looks like. Of course, I have my on uh, spacebar. So uh, what I'm go over right now is just talk about why it's like this, why it's so crazy. So everything on this hand right here, these were all done one by one. So you're learning to use my right hand to play and pick heroes. It was not something that could just do, you know, at first it was hard. At first, when I first added uh, Titan, I would move and pick like Kakuma. Kakuma was my first one. I would like pick Kakuma or something like that. I had to get used to naturally picking Titan and eventually get the muscle memory using Desperado. Uh, I had to get the muscle memory to do that as well. That was not very easy. And Earthbreaker as well. I started picking Desperado. Just had to get the muscle memory to get that. It's just very easy. It's just point of work. <laughs> but uh, it's knowing when to pick my uh, Iron Knight, Earth Mage, and Musketeer. This was not easy as well. Especially changing between different keyboards. Like I said earlier, I have... Uh, like I said earlier, this is my old laptop. This is my gaming laptop I had. This was... A lot closer so when I changed I had to learn to adjust to reach further a bit so this was before my current PC so this was like before but uh I'll go over that in a bit as well all right so reason for my setup right here it's very important to note uh, these heroes up here are very important they're there for a reason uh, it's pretty much up to four so those are there because I can press a uh, treasure hunter and these heroes, I can pick them, but I can still attack at the same time. So I could use my middle finger to pick one, two, and I could still move for ice for fire mage. I can still dash one, 
2 I can press attack for a treasure hunter shot, 3 I can press D for tile swing, 4 I can dash attack to lift, 5 is for weapon skill but it was more of a main so for heroes in 5, 6, 7 and 8 those are like more main heroes I don't really swap to them I don't really need speed so I don't need them to be conjoined to another thing something like uh Zerker here a Zerker here I can press Q and D at the same time almost to just you know get that guard break going same thing with Zao to do a quick little poke uh, earth a heavy crasher you don't really need it for anything fast so that can be kind of awkward that's kind of fine there a uh, chief Dan I can swap to it I could dash and then use my attacks as well so it's pretty fast swaps uh priest when i priest i use priest in my combos to dash so i press my pointer to press priest and then my pinky is on a to jump so i can get really really fast swaps in there and then again cage is not really a swapping hero so it's again far so all my main heroes you can see are going to be around the outside they're not really close to my inner hand because i swap to them as mains so i don't use them in combos so they're fine to be slow uh, Iori, before when it used to be a little P, I used to use Iori to do combos, so I would have it there to quickly swap to it and then quickly use uh, D to attack for input heroes. Then G, H, and J, those are all main heroes, so I'll need them for quick swaps, so once again, they are far. And uh, so something like Shift for my Zerg, for my, sorry, my Death Knight, I use that for swap into it to quickly use armor skill. So I pick you out of this and then I uh, ASD to use armor skill for my pick up on death knight and i'll go over this in game as well because i'll be able to actually yeah i'll just talk about it now and i'll go over it again so uh so then again there's pirate running back and these again so pirate when i pick i could press z and d at the same time and uh medic if i press medic my right hand is free to do that as well uh, b is like a main hero it was kill i don't really need it for fast swap my used to be a very big thing in combos so i can press my thumb for my and then attack at the same time so that's why it's there and then these ones right here something like <clears throat> like for graffiti artists to do quick sprays i can press spray here and i could attack it at almost at the same time so i could do this really at this almost at the same time to get really really fast sprays out and i'll show you why in game and uh, for desperado it's on this side it used i used to have zerk here on where desperado is and then a desperado on q and i reversed it because you get a faster swap here and i'll show you what i mean later and then for earthbreaker as well this is, enables me to jump and attack at this, almost at the same time for really fast swaps for ground attacks and the uh, earth mage as well to get that uh stun going i press i have my uh, thumb to swap to earth mage and i have my d to attack and do uh, the uh the so what's it called the canceling thing whatever the whole yeah Mafia as well, I can swap to Mafia and I can shoot almost at the same time. Really, really fast swaps. So these right here. And then for Iron for uh, Iron Knight as well for really fast swaps to quickly stab someone. <laughs> and so I will show you what I mean. So here, like I talked about earlier. So I have, I could swap to my uh, Medic correctly to stab. Uh, something like Priest here, I can swap to this for a quick spray because it's on my left hand. And uh, Earthbreaker, I can swap to that quickly to just, you know, I can almost jump at the same time to get that in. And the reason I have this product here is because I can do this. I can swap to really fast because it's on my right hand. I can almost jump at the same time. And there's the priest dash. So yeah, because I'm recording as well, like, I'm a little bit delayed, so I, I can't really swap as fast as I normally would. But yeah, so something, so for uh, my Mai, have it really close priest is really close fast swap so you see all this and so my treasure hunter is close so i could attack and swap almost at the same time you can see it's really close so i can like press it to middle finger gets to and then these to attack that's why that's there and then for tau swings when tau is really good you can use it to quickly turn around and just swing you know i had tau there to swap it and swing that's how that's there for ice mage it's for quick swaps and then Thunder Breaker is also in the good spot. I'm not Thunder Breaker. Zerk is in a good spot because I can swap to it and just, you know, really quick hits. So yeah, that's why that's my hero placement. That's why it's important. It helps really, really improve your swap speed. And uh, yeah, so I should get some gameplay going. So I'll have another video separate for gameplay. 
this one we just talk about a keyboard setup and why it's important I pretty much covered everything actually and uh, yeah I'm gonna try to do things to give examples so so I can see my medic is close for quick so my pirate is also up here so I can use my middle finger to press it for a quick bomb so I can use my uh, middle finger on Z to pick pirate and to throw a bomb so I swapped it and yeah <laughs> I failed that twice. Yeah. See, I get that as well. Fast shots. Earth mages you can talk about. It's been doing that, uh, <laughs> that glitch. And a nice and fast flash, I can swap to it quick. And, um. Alright, uh, when I, I have this here for flash armor, for quick flash armor, I don't really use it much though. Yeah, that's that really 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 helps you with your swap speed and so yeah all this takes time to learn you won't learn it in just one go so left hand right hand uh anything down here you start to take your hands off your movement keys i have long hands a big hand so i can kind of do it not <laughs> big hands long fingers so i could kind of do it and have it far so i have like for templar i could kind of swap to it usually i use this for the armor so i'll be pretty safe i could kind of swap to it but i'm still on jump because i have to dodge something you know Something like us, uh, and also for my uh, energy research, I, I can't have it there, so I don't, I don't really need it instantly. So yeah, and that's about it, honestly. Uh, I use uh, seven and H to swap whenever I want to try a new hero. I use seven and H, and so yeah, so these are the heroes I generally swap to the most, but um. You can see from the order, this is like the order I almost made it in. It's almost, some of them I kind of changed in between. Like this used to be something else, I just kind of changed it. But, uh, so this is kind of the order that I made these, just adding on to it over time. This was pretty random. This was not a part of the order, but this is true. QR, this is like how I slowly built my thing over time. I added a six, I added an eight. As I got more heroes, I would add new buttons over time. And that's just literally how I built this. It's not something that happened in just one go. So I don't recommend just copying my keyboard, but just use the same concept as you're doing yours. And uh, yeah, so the uh, next video is going to be with me doing gameplay. It's going to be a separate video. Okay. Oh. And if you're not, sorry, I almost forgot. That's all I remember. Uh, if you're not using the keyboard, using the laptop, a lot of laptop players out here, uh, I can't really. Some of you have kind of small laptops. These are probably these are more like notebooks, not really game laptop. This is what I would have on a game laptop. I would have directional buttons still here. I can't draw this, can I? I would have directional buttons here. I used to have. Uh, I had the. Okay, it's not. I used to have directional buttons at here. And then I moved over here. So I used to play on the side and then moved up here. I had the up directional diagonal buttons because Lost Saga cameras can see upward, but you can't see downward, right? That's just the way the camera is set up. You can see ahead of you, but you can't, you can't like see like below you towards you. So I had up diagonals. I just didn't have the lower ones, but then I moved over here. And so if you have these keyboards without the number pads, you would want to do it like this, kind of. It's going to work around it. And so I didn't put some put some heroes on this because at the time I, when I was using the laptop I didn't have the heroes. It would be a lie if I put it on. I said it works because I never actually tried it. But this is what I would have if I had one of these kind of laptops, these kind of keyboards. I would use this as well. I use this as well. So it's kind of where your hands can reach. Use your right hand. Your right hand can do more than just move. It takes time, but your brain is very capable of learning. And so this is a laptop with a number pad. I recommend having a number pad at all times. It's very useful. Diagonal is kind of important. You want to have that. And so on my laptop, I had it like this. And so the keys are a lot closer. Instead of having number pads like I had uh, over here. So primarily my heroes, my they used to be here, right? But then I moved it over there because I had a um, keyboard now. I built a PC a couple, a year ago. And yeah, so laptop it still works i use this as my taunt button so i replace taunt from here to here if you're still crazy about taunt i'm not much of a macro person anymore uh after bc died i kind of stopped doing macros she was like my macro buddy and so i don't use macros anymore i just kind of took them off so these are also used as hero times but like, i don't use it much the max amount of buttons you can use is 36 if i had more if i could use like 48 i would use all my buttons because i still i still have lots of, i want to add 
almost every hero. I want to add Tiger. I want to add uh, Jack. I want to add um, the Dragon Slayer, a Space Warden, Reaper. I want to add a bunch of heroes, but there's just not enough uh, buttons. So you can also kind of see the time stamp here as well of the order I kind of built my keys in. So it would, it's this, almost the same as how it looked like uh, when I showed you the menu, the hero menu. So I just kind of built over time. You can see it. And I ran out of space and I was very excited and I cried for a long time. And the end. So yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully this was uh, not a waste of time. This has helped me. It's important to have a good keyboard setup to drastically improve your swap speed. Is another video I'm going to make on how to swap properly. There's actually a secret to it. Actually, there's two videos. I'm going to do a level one swapping where it's like I'll tell you something about this game that's not really spoken about, but you should know if you don't. And there's another secret I could tell you that's about how to swap extra, extra fast. And that is like my biggest secret. I only told two people before my brother and Beastie, and she uh, died two years ago in, in a car accident. So now it's just my brother and I didn't know the secret and I haven't told anybody ever since and yeah, but I will consider making a video depending on how things go probably eventually, but yeah, is, there is a secret to swap speeds and yeah, thanks for watching and toodaloo. Welcome to today's video, and uh, so I'm going to be covering uh, upgrading gear, how to do it, at least what I found.